Hello everybody, welcome back to another Final Stand race video. Uh, and today's video is on Mazins and why they are so fucking bad. Um, I know this is kind of a back-to-back -back thing when it comes to Final Stand. And, um, you know, I did one on Saiyans. And of course not many people are going to agree with my Saiyan take. And that's fine. And I, I just recently figured out there's actually a comp league for this game. And I thought that was fucking wild and absolutely hilarious. Uh, and these guys are telling me about why they didn't really agree with Majin's being at number 7 on my race tier list. Now, let me explain a couple of things of why I think that is. Now, I will say this though. Humans and Majin's are interchangeable on that list. You could put humans at number 7, or you could put Majin's at number 7, right? It really just depends on who you are or what you're going for. Humans are better in the generalist playstyle because their forms offer just better key max, so therefore in playing the game as a whole, PvP, PvE, whatever you're doing, they're better at that. Majin's, if you are PvPing, are fucking insanely good. Like, they're not bad, really, at all, but that goes for any race. Like, that doesn't just go for just Saiyans, just... You know, androids, just uh, Jarens, just Freezes. All the races in this game can be good at PvP because it doesn't fucking matter what race you play. It matters on the player. Like, if you are good at the game, you will win. Like, that's just how it is. You're gonna win. Like, it's not gonna be a problem, right? Like, yeah, having higher stats is gonna help you in a PvP scenario, but it really doesn't matter if the person you're going up against has, like, 2,000 hours in this fucking game and understands every single minute detail and knows how to use their combos perfectly. It doesn't matter, right? You can have 700 stats over me, but I can still beat your ass. It, it really doesn't. It's just that Majins are, are unironically, like, they have the potential to be the best race in PvP because of Unstable. Unstable is very strong. It's the, it's their strongest attribute as a race when it comes to PvP. Of that in Metal Majin. Metal Majin is also like really overlooked uh, by a lot of players. I mean, a lot of people know that there's a chance that you won't get stunned by Key Blast, but that doesn't really matter. Like that doesn't make them any better at, at PvP because you don't have Key Max to back it up. Like this race, you have no idea how important Key Max is. Like I use a couple moves and I'm already down a couple like uh, like a third of my key bar like look, look look how fast that shit's draining i'm rebirthed by the way like look at my key max 782 that's a lot of key max for level 441 like like i'm draining really quickly like and you're gonna be going up against other rebirth character players that have better forms than you and will outlast you so at the end of the day it doesn't matter if i'm like once or twice i'll be immune to key uh key blast it doesn't because what's gonna happen to me i'm gonna run out of key drop my form and then i'm forced to use my regen ability and then you know, then I look like a coward, or then I'm relying on my fucking regen and it's not fair, or whatever the fuck, you know, and that's not a good feeling, like, you don't want to feel like you're relying on your regen, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, it, it just comes from player to player of what you prefer for a race, if you prefer the regen ability, if you want to use that in PvP, it's really just up to the player, or if that's the rules you set for yourself, right? So... I just did it all things considered and all things considered i think humans are still better in a lot of ways but like in pvp i mean it can really go both ways like i like it just depends on the player so if you go off raw stats i'm pretty sure humans and Majins are actually the exact same in terms of their stats in their final forms but uh i'm pretty sure i'm most likely wrong about that and they're, if they're not the exact same they're pretty close to it because metal uh unstable if i'm not mistaken gives you 425 stats and so does Dark Dark Human gives you 425 stats around that number. And if it's like slightly higher than the other, like really 25 extra stats is fucking nothing at the end of the day. So it's just like, who gives a shit? But yeah, I mean, Majin's outside of that, like terrible key max in all of their forms. And that it's not fun to play as Majin's. It's the same reason why a lot of people don't like playing as androids because androids just have fucking awful key max. You barely can use any moves. Like you run out pretty much instantly. And there's really just not much for you to do. So if I were you, I would probably avoid them, and I'm just explaining my reasoning of why they're so low on the list. And I mean, I've already explained it in the video, uh, as it is, but outside, if you aren't PvPing and you're just playing the game like a casual player, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick them. I really wouldn't. I would just say play Saiyans, you know, play fucking Jaren's, play anything else. Like, Frieza's are pretty good for a casual player, like, Namekians are very good for the casual player. Because uh, those races all have good key maps in their transformations, they're all a lot more reliable. Humans also have the Zenkai boost in Kaioken times 100, which I did mention in the video. That Kaioken uh, times 100 boost is better than regen in a lot of ways because regen does about the same. It heals about 70% of your health and gives you back half your key max. Um, and the Kaioken times 100 gives you back 50% of your key max and 50% of your health, which means that every about two minutes or so, you can use a 50% Zenkai on humans 
versus a 70% Zenkai and 50% Keymax uh, when you use full regen on Majin's every 5 minutes. So, technically speaking, you get more bang for your buck when you play as humans if you are good at switching between your transformations during a fight or you're doing PvE content. You are going to be using the Zenkai's because, you know, if you're smart enough and you, you recognize that you get back health and Keymax, you know, when you when you transform when you transform, then you're gonna be abusing that. And uh, time was Kyle Ken times 100, you know, gives you back a lot of health and gives you back a lot of heat. So you're gonna want to be using that as much as possible to optimize your grinding, optimize PvP if if they allow it or whatever the fuck. And yeah, I mean that's what that's what most likely what you're gonna be doing. So it, it's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> so and, and if you get caught out. In the middle of transforming into Kyle Ken times 100, it's fine because now you have 500 and all, all of your base stats. You have a good, you have a form with a good key max, and you're fine because you're probably going to be able to fight whoever is fighting you in that form. And you'll be able to get away and switch to Mystic or something. But yeah, I mean, out of all the races in the game, I definitely think Majin's are worse than humans in a lot of ways. But again, like I said earlier, it's interchangeable. Like I can see why you would say Majin's are better because Majin's do have unstable, and unstable is a, is a unique form only to Majin's, but. Them getting butchered and getting nerfed from their key max that they used to have in it. I mean, it, it doesn't feel fair. I mean, I would, if they, if Unstable had a five times key max instead of four times, I would put them above humans, but it doesn't. Key max plays such an important role in this game that it's gonna really, it's gonna really bump a, uh, characters and races up a lot more when they have more key max. Well, Muslims aren't gonna, you know, be the worst race on everyone's list or whatever. It really, at the end of the day, just kind of, again, it, go, it really does go off preference when it comes between the two uh, humans and Majins, because humans are just, they just get shafted for no reason, like they're very weak, but, you know, if you play Majins, that's fine, dude. Majins are my favorite characters. I've been playing Majins in this game since 20, 2016, 2017, that's, that's, you know, I've been maining them this entire time. Like, I, I, I'd like to think that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Majins as a whole and uh if you disagree with me yeah tell me down in the comments below why you disagree with me and uh tell me why i suck you know i do read all my comments i do appreciate all the criticism guys that's the only way to grow on youtube you know i'm not gonna get better unless you guys criticize me i do respect it but don't expect me not to fucking you know clap back like when i say criticism i don't mean fucking insult me in the comments like a retard i, I mean i actually give some criticism but like hey this is where you are wrong about this and this is why i think that this should be done this way because i see a lot of morons in my comments that would that would rather just insult me or whatever the hell and that's not productive for me or you i mean like at the end of the day if, if you're gonna insult me you do understand that that's gonna farm engagement for me so i wouldn't do that if i were you like if you have an actual something to say about it please i mean like i respect that dude and i'm gonna like i'm gonna hear you out i'm gonna argue with you in the comments and get, that's just that's you know that's just how it's gonna be but if you think uh you know i should make more of these videos and you guys like seeing them let me know down in the comments below man i really do i, I like making content on final stand like I, I don't hate this game at all it's just that community is fucking cancerous but that's just my opinion but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching and as always uh make sure you just like it if you hated the video and leave a mean comment down below see you later